Hey guys, we're going to do a quick overview of the different strumming patterns that you can use on a tenor banjo. Now, I've heard some people say that, uh, oh, you don't need to strum a tenor banjo. No, you can strum a tenor banjo. It's actually a lot simpler than you might think. So for starters, let's just work on a basic strumming pattern like we would play on the guitar. basically just brushing up and down with a pick lightly. Because if you give it too much, it's really going to put out some volume out of this instrument. And that part's up to you. It depends on who you're playing with or what kind of jam session you're in. How loud do you want it? How loud do you need it? Because you don't want to overpower other people's instruments. Another thing you can do if you're trying to learn how to get your timing going and, and maybe if you want to use this on slower type music, it's um, what my old teacher used to call four down, three down. And it's basically you just play the top string, number four, then the third string down. You can also mix it up and do three down, four down. Again, that's preference and whichever you think sounds best. But that way it helps you with timing and uh, there are certain songs where that may sound much better. Another style is if you're using these bar chords like that you would use on a mandolin. This is something I hear that a lot of people that are comping with jazz bands and other people in jam sessions, what they'll do is, is they will relieve pressure as soon as they strum, muting the chord. But they do it rapidly. They also combine different chord shapes and a few other things, but that's really just the bare basics of that strumming style and it mostly only works with the bar chords. If you've ever listened to New Orleans jazz, I'm sure you recognize that style. Um, it's something that they use uh, together with the jazz band and with the wind instruments and all that. Um, now for the last one, it's one that is uh, really my favorite, and it's one that I use most of all. And what I do is, is I take these three fingers and I play the instrument almost like you would play a ukulele uh, or maybe even a little bit on the claw hammer side uh, of using the banjo. But what I basically do is, is I just take these three fingers and I strum the chord. For me, I'm trying to get a more of a balanced, not quite so shrill, uh, more of a mellow type sound out of the chords I play whenever I do this. And it gives me a little bit more control over the sound and the balance uh, of the sound that's coming out of the instrument versus that may be just a little bit too loud, so you want to back it down just a little bit with a... can still keep the pick in my hands by playing with just these three fingers. So as soon as I'm finished playing the chords and I want to do a little bit of so solo work, I can just switch over to using the pick anytime I need to. If I need to do a bass walk or um, just throw in a little ornament or something between chords, I can still do that. Uh, and I don't have to go, uh, I don't have to set the pick down or anything. I can just, just switch between the two. That's the way I prefer to do it. But out of all those, out of all these different styles, just pick the one that you like the best. You can use them all. Um, really, it just depends on the situation you're in. If you're in a jam session, if you're doing solo work. Um, but, you know, by all means, there's a lot of ways that you can uh, strum this instrument uh, 
and these are just these are just some of the basics to try to help you help get you started. Uh, but uh, I hope this helped. And uh, if you want to see more lesson videos and see more tenor banjo lessons uh, and music, let me know. And uh, I appreciate the the support and thanks for watching.